uh, there was a papal audience with the Pope yesterday. Oh, this is great. And isn't it? Uh, as you can see, it's a hugely uh, important event for all of those people. And that young boy there, young Argentinian lad, uh, got a little bit bored. Uh, so he decided to wander up to the uh, dais and see. Uh, oh, the Pope, what a cute and investigate what was going on. That's his mum coming up to explain that he's actually hard of hearing and and, uh, and struggles with his speech as well. But oh, the Pope decided, mm. rather than take him away, just let him play in front of all those people. I think that's very cute, but it's like when kids are running around in a restaurant. Mm. It's cute for about 30 seconds, then mum needs to come in and say, Either you stop that or we're going to Well, she home. did. So that's the point. The mum went up and the she said, right, come on, the first, sister tried lesser. first. And he wouldn't. And then he was sort of making a bit of fuss on the floor. Then the Pope said, leave him. This is what he said, leave him, let him play here. He was told he was hard of hearing and speech. said, but he knows how to communicate and to express himself. He's had, he made me thinking. He is free. Undisciplined, but he's free. It made me think, am I so free before God? Oh. But it'd be it's an incredibly important moment for all of those thing, people in there, isn't it? And you're going to be distracted. One thing if you're in a restaurant, Ian, and you're a little bit hacked off about the fact you can't eat your pizza, yes. it's another if you're a Pope and you have to draw a spiritual message from yes. it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next time you're in a restaurant, see if you can draw a spiritual <laughs> message from it. Go, Will you get rid of that flipping <laughs> king? <laughs> Trying to bless everybody. <laughs> one, of those, clip, though, isn't it? one of those other things that restaurants, talking of being irritated in restaurants, uh, a new uh, uh, a band has it's come into doing, play. It's trying to have a meal with someone and they're like... I just got an email. Just going to do another this is email. No phone box. We're employing a, a restaurant chain has decided that they're going to to try and encourage families. Put your phone in. Right. Put your phone in. Really? Trying to encourage families. I've got a lot of shopping to do this morning. I can't you be. Don't a, I don't bring my phone, phone on set. You're the only one. Uh, uh, you know, so what they've done is basically they've got so fed up, or the, the idea is that ever that the kids have got so fed up with their yeah. parents using their phones Good. while they're at, at meal times that they're encouraging people to put their phones into a box. If they do for the period of the of the meal, kids up to the age of fourteen eat for free. But you've got to take your phone and put it into a box. Ooh. Does that Should mean be... you actually have to talk to your children? It's an extraordinary over the suggestion, Kate. It is an in theory, it does, or it's a very quiet, quick meal. Yeah, <laughs> you're in and out in <laughs> seconds. I thought, uh, when I first heard about this, I thought it was about parents getting fed up with the fact that their children are always staring at their phones because they never seem to be off Instagram yeah. and Snapchat. But it is actually, as you say, about children, yeah. majority of whom think that their parents spend too oh, much time on their phone. Seven in ten kids oh. who surveyed said their parents didn't spend too much time on their phone when they're sitting around eating. And How are you going to yeah. take pictures of your meal? If you're you're pretty pretty it, If you you're haven't got your phone, you have to yeah. do a sketch yeah. or something. But is it a good idea, though? I mean, it'd be yes. interesting to see what everybody thinks. Is it a good idea that you take your phone and put it into a box and you can't use it for the duration of the meal? I've got or, slight or... eebie-jeebies of you, Kate, about the fact my phone's there, not here. Yeah, I'm a little bit nervous. Yeah. That's because you've left it on. It's going to ring any minute. It's going to ring every it minute. My mum will be saying, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, but the, and also, the other thing, though, this this particular chain, because I've been there with my kids, it's very nice, and enjoy the meal. You can Frankie pay, and Betty's. Well, you, you, can pay, you can pay with your phone as well, and you can get the receipt sent your phone. Oh, you can actually do it all on your phone while you're sitting at the table. They actually created that facility. Yeah, you can pay on your phone at the end. But, but, the end but they can well, go, if you get our app, then you don't even have to order the bill. You can just say pay and you can oh, pay okay. and then and leave. They've actually made it even quicker. So you don't have to order the bill and all that sort of stuff. It's like, mm. you know, they've, oh, they've facilitated it. You're having your phone in the box, though. No, you've got to get your phone out you're of your having box. A At home, we don't have uh, phones by the table. Do you not? No, no we well, don't. I, and I've started, and it's really hard, but if I'm going out for a meal with friends or something, or, uh, I'll leave the phone behind and go out what? into the street... You leave the house? ...without a telephone. You, you go out close commando. the front door yes. behind you yes. without your phone? That's exactly what I do. Yeah, and that, that means you have that's to meet at the allotted wrong. time in the allotted place, though, doesn't that's it? The point. <laughs> that's the point, because nobody does that. No. It drives me mad. In the olden days, in black and white, you'd Sorry, make an other arrangement people to meet people. Missing arrangements drives you mad. Uh -oh. <laughs> Yes, I know. I realise there's an element of possible. People in glass. But, houses. you know, and you, and you met and you all showed up. Now, you say to people, and they say, oh, I'll text you when I'm there and I'll let you know where no, you are. We've and said like... 7.30. I'll see you at 7.30. That should be That's the deal. Simple, but what happens isn't if something it? goes wrong? I mean, the reality oh, is that these yes. things have been created to make life more convenient. So if something wrong. goes wrong on the way... But either phone my mum up and tell her you've you got to have a landline to do that or you've got to find a phone box. There's not as many phone boxes these days. You've got to have 10p. What's do you not? phone box? Say all the children watching. Yeah. 10p as well. I mean, it's about two quid now in a phone box. <laughs> what it is. Something Ian spends like a lot of time sitting at restaurants going, well, they said 7.30. <laughs> <laughs> on my own. No one turns up. Meanwhile, your phone so is just pinging. <laughs> That's brilliant. All your mates are like, let's tell him we're going there at 7.30. He won't have his phone. We'll go to the I'm public. I'm going to be honest, <laughs> I don't actually have any friends. <laughs> oh, you've always got friends here. Oh, yeah. That's why we've yeah. Can I come round to your houses? No, no. 6 to late no. 30 in the morning. OK. <laughs> um, I'll tell you something.